All right, then I'm back with some more swords and sandals. It is time for Crixus the Gaul to continue his gladiator journey. He only has 291 days remaining until the Starbound Gladiator shows up and we have an epic duel to finish the game. We have a bit of gold. Maybe we should go to the armorer and see if we can get some better gear. We are wearing noob gear. So, uh, yeah, we should probably look into getting that changed. Maybe it is time to upgrade the loincloth. We're going to buy a new chest plate. Although the size of the chest plate makes it look more like a bra or something, you know. <laughs> Alright, the plan is to beat up our magic training dummy. We're just going to see how much XP he rewards and see if he uses up one of our days or if we can get the XP and do a fight at the same time. Alright, dummy. Are you ready for the biggest beating of your lifetime? We shall unleash the holy, well, the unholy smite. And he blocked. What kind of dummy is this? Alright, give him a quick jab. And another quick jab. And another quick jab. Now we finish him off. No, we can't finish him off with the power hit. And another quick jab. Now the power hit. He didn't see it coming. 8 XP, was that it? Hold on a minute, have I finally found a use for my stars? If we go to learn skill, we can learn these different skills. We can learn a skill to attack their head, that is great, why not? As we are Crixus the Gaul, it only makes sense we learn the Barbarian Storm. We are a vicious barbarian that cannot be stopped. Alright, that being said, I guess it is time to do our fight of the day. What have you got lined up for me, my friend? We have 49 power. I reckon we could take the level set. Oh god, that level 7 wizard is pretty stacked. To be honest with you, we could probably take the bard. He has no armor and he has a bow. If we can get in close, we can beat him. We're taller, he's heavier. He is more charismatic than us. Should be an interesting fight. Alright, buddy. Do you know who I am? I am Crixus the Gaul, and we shall roll a 17. Not quite 17. He's going to try and back away from us because he has a bow. But we will not allow him. We need to keep the fight close, so we're going to lunge. I'll keep lunging at you all day, buddy. You got nowhere to go. Can we lunge him off the edge of the map? Oh. <laughs> Where's he gonna go from here? You've got nowhere to go, my friend. I have a 99% chance of hitting you because you're tired. Maybe we use one of our new skills. A powerful kick that knocks your enemy back and stuns them for a turn. Well, there's nowhere else to go. So, this is Brando! <laughs> we, we actually just booted him off the map. <laughs> we don't even get a choice to slay him or not at the end because I think, well, it's clear what happened to him. <laughs> I don't think he's resting, lads. He's a goner. Alright, we're going to try and squeeze another fight in in the same day. I think we're going to go a bit easier and go for this guy here. Alright, for once we are taller and heavier. We're stronger, he's faster, but we hit harder. But he is charismatic, but I don't know what that's going to do when he uses an axe. Alright, we need to roll a 13 or higher. I'm feeling it, lads. Something in my heart is telling me a 14. A perfect 20. We'll take those. Alright, we're going to try out another one of our skills. What do we have here? We have the Warrior Strike. There is an 85% chance of hitting. It will break his armor. And it will kill him. Alright. <laughs> we are done here. Alright, so it looks like the way this works is every action on the map we take adds a few hours to the day. So we could probably get another fight in without skipping another day. But if I level up at the campsite, that will end the day. 
I guess we keep on fighting, lads. There's no point giving up our days. We have a limited amount of time before the gladiator shows up. All right, so we are now going to challenge the level 7 wizard. He is bigger than us. We're about the same weight. We are stronger and tankier, but he is a lot smarter than us. We are... We're dull, lads. There's, there's no way around it. Crixus is stupid. <laughs> but we're going to give it our best go either way. We got a roll in 11. So far, I have been wrong with every guess. It is going to be a 14 again. Nope, it was a 3. And he just broke my trousers. Well, that was a little mean, my friend. How about the unholy smite? One day we'll land that hit. One day. But until that day, we're going to hit him with the warrior strike. He jumped at us. We will lunge at him. Okay, he got the block. Oh no, what did he hit us with? He poisoned us. Right, we'll hit him with the Barbarian Storm. And now he's just broke our shield and we're poisoned. This fight is not good. The wizard might be our weakness. We've broke his helmet, which means if we use our skill and attack his head... Okay, what have we got here, lads? A power attack will kill him, but it's 50-50 whether it lands. And if it doesn't land... We are too tired to continue the fight and we'll need to rest. Oh no. Do we go for the gamble? The all or nothing power attack? We're going for it, lads. We are going for it. And he blocked. This is not good. We must now rest. Alright, we're going to go for the kick. The kick will stun him if it lands and knock him back. And maybe we can just hit him off the edge of the map. Oh no, it's close, lads. It is close. I guess we go for the lunge while he's stunned. Alright, a quick attack will kill him and there's an 80% chance of it hitting. Can we give him an old quick jab to finish him off? We can. As is tradition, we must slay our foe. Alright, overall, that was a good day. We can't complain at that, lads. We got the level up. We got three gladiator wins. We even have a decent bit of money. Although that being said, I kind of want to hit level seven first before we spend the money because we unlocked the new set of armor. All right, we leveled up at the campfire. If we head over to the armor and now, we should be able to get the new level seven armor, which is great. All right, well, I think it is time to upgrade the noob shorts. Going from 5 armor to 25, well, 26, <laughs> is a bit of an upgrade, and I think it's going to be worth it. So, we're going to buy those. I think we also need a hat. Going from 7 to 31. We also need shoulder guards, but I think they might be a bit expensive, to be honest with you. Although, it doesn't look like he's selling any, actually. Oh my god, that, that helmet. Why didn't we save up for this helmet? Alright, well, it is a lovely day out. We are going to go on an adventure today. I haven't seen what the adventure option does, but we're going to give it a go. You arrive in town just in time to see a great plume of smoke coming from a large wooden stone building. The stench of burning alcohol. Not the whiskey. There's a priceless barrel of whiskey in the loft. Oh, God. All right, you know what, lads? We're going for the whiskey. We rapidly ascend the building. We kick open the window. We find the barrel. We haul it out the window and yell for aid. And we have rescued the barrel of whiskey. They've given us seven stars, which is nice. Bit of gold uh, would have helped as well, you know. Going on that adventure has used up most of our hours for the day, which isn't good. But we still have enough time that we should be able to squeeze an arena fight in at least. So who do we fight today? You know what? We go for the... Uh, yeah, we'll go for the level 9. He has a bow, so if we stick close and keep hitting him backwards, we might be able to get an easy win. 
All right, they are a lot smaller than us, but they are faster. They do attack better than us, and they have more stamina. So we gotta get the early fight before we run out of energy. Roll an 18. We are not rolling an 18. There is no way. We rolled a five. What was that, buddy? You just kind of jumped on the spot. You 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 didn't jump backwards. It it was just up and down. <laughs> okay. We will start off with the warrior strike. This is mainly to break his armor and do a decent bit of damage. And he dodged. Dodged the warrior strike. Now we're going to have to advance towards our enemy, I guess. Just, just keep walking forward, buddy. He's pulled out his dagger. I wasn't expecting him to pull out the dagger. I thought he was going to stick with the boat. That's put a bit of a spanner in the works, but we're going to kick him backwards. And now he is stunned. We'll just walk forward. I'm not in a rush. We will attempt the unholy smite, though. We can only use it once per battle, and so far, we have failed every single time. And we have failed once again. In two more turns, we will get our kick back. So, the plan is to keep him on the edge here. For as long as we can. Alright buddy. You're about to get booted off the edge. Adios my friend. Adios. <laughs> oh man I love that move. That's got to be the greatest move we've ever discovered so far. We can now afford our brand new knife from the shopkeeper. The weaponsmith will actually sell it to us. It is a bit of a pricey one. I won't lie, lads. It is a pricey one. But hopefully, it will massively help in the fights to come. Alright, we're versing this pretty small guy, but he is an absolute tank. He has all of his points stacked in defense. So, this could be interesting. He might just block every one of our hits. We rolled a 14. That is nice. Alright, start with the warrior strike. It now does 62 damage, which is great. He he's levitating, lads. Lads, he he just took off. What was all elemental damage increased? He he just levitated. We'll hit him with the unholy smite. We actually landed the unholy smite. We we actually hit someone with it. What do we do now? I've never done this before. We've never hit someone with the unholy smite. Hmm, what should we do here? We hit him with the barbarian storm. If we land a power attack, we will kill him. I guess we gamble, lads. It's 50-50. Well, it's 48-52 to be exact. And we did it. We truly are the undefeated goal. Alright, we have won enough regional fights that we can now challenge the champion. The champion does have a power score of 77. We only have 62, so I don't know if we're ready to face them yet. We could always try it out, see what it's like. I don't know what the outcome would be if we lose, but I guess we give it a go. Alright, who is the competitor this time? It is Sir Atlas, the elder son of legendary defender Baron Wolfgang. Oh no, the size of this beast. So when it comes to attack, we heavily outnumber him. But when it comes to defense, he heavily outnumbers us. And he's got stamina for days. All right, well, this shall be an interesting battle. We have to roll an 11 and we rolled a two. Oh man, that was his first hit. Alright, we're going to kick him backwards. That'll give us the stun. Now we'll hit him with the unholy smite. And he blocked. Okay, we've managed to block his hit. This is not good at all, lads. That first hit has completely ruined us, to be honest with you. Maybe we hit him with the warrior strike.
Or else do we have the barbarian storm? The human spirit. <laughs> Alright, we're still blocking attacks for now and we still have a decent bit of armor. But to be honest with you, that first hit completely bypassed the armor. So I don't know what good that's going to be for us. We could attack his head. Oh no, there goes the armor, lads. Alright, let's just boot him backwards with the stun. Now we hit him with the lunge. Block the lunge while stunned. This is not good. What do we have here? The warrior strike. Now we'll hit him with the barbarian storm. He's on 60 health. We have nothing that can deal 60 damage. We're just going to have to walk backwards. That, that did nothing. It did give us the kick though. The kick will allow us to push him back for now. We're going to have to rest. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is too close lads. This is too close. The warrior strike is not ready. The power hit will kill him. But it's only a 1 in 3 chance of it landing. This is not good. It is an all or nothing gamble. We get the hit. We win. We miss. We probably lose. We got the hit. It was a 1 in 3 and we did it. We, we're the champion. We are the new regional champion of the area. All hail Crixus the Gaul. Champion of Shackleford. Hail Gladiator, you have now defeated two regional champions and they invite us to travel to the arena at Doomtrek. So we need to defeat all 12 grand champions and we will become the great sentinel who is chosen to face the starbound gladiator. So after that fight, we received a lot of money. I think I'm going to buy this helmet for two and a half thousand because of the amount of armor plus the one to vitality. And not only that then, but we shall buy the cape. <laughs> now we have a cape. We look cool with the cape, lads. We'll also buy the boots. I think it's the best we can get for now. So we are now given the option to travel to Doomtrek for eight stars. I guess we head on over just to see what it's like. You've arrived at the arena to face the Grand Champion 1. We just about beat Regional Champion 2. I don't think this was a wise decision. But it is the decision we have made from the stronghold of Quarter Moon Cove. Oh no. We're versus some kind of sailor. Captain Seabelt. He is going to absolutely destroy us, isn't he? He is level 15. He has double our power score. Alright, lads. Well... It is over. We had a good run. We can't back out now. We have royally screwed up. <laughs> and we rolled a one to top it all off. Well, so much for being Crixus the undefeated goal. What did he do? He's... He's using the water to pull us at him and stuff. Oh god! This, this is it lads, it, it is over for us. We can't win against a guy like this. He just keeps freezing us. What does one do when you're frozen? You summon the human spirit? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to lunge attack. Now, now we hit him with the Barbarian Storm. Now we lunge attack once again. We hit him with the power attack. We managed to block that one. We'll hit him with another power attack. Now we hit him with the lunge. <laughs> All attacks do critical damage. Is this what we need to turn the tide of battle? 
Do we hit him with the warrior strike plus the crit? Okay, we have no choice but to rest for a moment. What can we do here, lads? We go for the lunge. And we've lost. It was so close. Thank you, my friend. He did not execute us. Regardless of how evil we are, the amount of people we have executed, Captain Seabelt has decided to spare our life. He did take our money, though. Going to be honest with you, Gladiator, you took quite a beating out there. I don't think it was that bad. We started pulling it back towards the end, and then we lost. It wasn't a complete and utter battering, I wouldn't say. <laughs> Alright, well, now that we have completed Shackleford, it is time to move on to the next town. We are going to Gallowstones. It is a level 10 area, but that is the lowest leveled area we can go to. Since we just arrived, we'll go on a little bit of an adventure. Why not? We were browsing the market when we were interrupted by the appearance of a unique individual. Oh, he's launched into some sort of spiritual lecture. Okay. What's he preaching about? <laughs> oh no, he's dragging us to his religious cult. I don't want anything to do with this, my friend. I'm not interested in membership. There's been a mix-up. I don't want to join your uh, religious cult. <laughs> and we got three gold coins. That, that was it. That was our adventure. We have now unlocked the tavern. And the tavern sells food that reduces our hunger in dungeons. But we have never done a dungeon. So I'm not too sure what they do. Although for 10,000, we can buy a horse that increases our travel on the world map. Which would be great. Alright, so these are the gladiators we are dealing with in our new area. The day is almost up, so we're just going to challenge Pippin. We only have 64 power, so we need to get that up as well. Alright, well, this guy is very fast. Could be a bit of an issue. That means he's got a boat. He could run away from us and keep firing arrows. And we have to roll an 18. We rolled a 6. Oh, never mind, lads. He just straight up froze us. All right. <laughs> well, what does one do when you're frozen? I guess you cast the human spirit. There's not much else we can do. We can't move. All right, we hit him with the lunge. He's got nowhere to go now. We hit him with the power hit. And we finish him off with the barbarians. Oh, no, we can't. He's too far away. I guess we just lunge, lads. Alright, now we finish him off with the Barbarian Storm. Or do we just attack his head? Nah, it's the Barbarian Storm. Hold on. How's he all the way back there? What's going on here? The guy just went flying backwards and then flying forwards. And now he's completely tired and we're going to kill him with the Warrior Strike. <laughs> We can fit in one more fight before the day is up, so I guess we go on to the next one. It is a level 12 warrior with 82 power. He's slightly stronger than us, but other than that, his stats aren't exactly great or anything. Alright, come on, roll a 13 or higher. We haven't had many rolls that have gone our way. I think it's due to the agility level. And we just rolled a 6. Start off with the warrior strike as always. Break a bit of that armor. He just broke my cape. Not my cape. Alright. Now we'll hit him with the barbarian storm. Now we will target his head. Now we hit him with the unholy smite. We're just spamming combo moves here. I guess we just go for the power hit. It does 69 damage and we have a 77 chance of landing it. That is great. Are any of our skills back yet? Not quite. You know what? We'll just kick him. Just kick him. Why not? And now we'll lunge at him. And now we hit him with the warrior strike. Hopefully, well actually the warrior strike won't kill him.
if we land the barbarian storm there's a one percent chance we miss if we miss i am quitting the game if we hit it is over and we have defeated the warrior all right so we have some new items here in the armor for a thousand gold we can get these new gauntlets which actually are pretty good we can also upgrade our shoulder guards because, well, I mean, we're still using the noob ones for 5 armor. So getting that up to 26 will also be great. Alright, well, we are now level 9. We have 69 power. We have about 2,000 gold to our name. Overall, it's not bad. It's not too bad, to be honest with you. We did lose the arena fight, but there was no way of knowing how strong the guy was going to be. We knew he was probably going to be stronger than the regional boss, but I wasn't expecting him to be level 15. So we're going to have to do a bit of grinding before we challenge him again. But at least we know what to expect next time. Maybe there are some new skills we could learn from the dummy that would be of use to us. I'm not too sure. We could learn gaseous wind or a meaty burp, you know. We could just learn a classic shove, just to shove them backwards. That combined with the kick, maybe we can get them to the edge of the map quicker and just throw them off, you know? Or we got grapple, so if someone is pushing us backwards, we can flip the positions around and then boot them off. <laughs> or maybe Crixus just straight up learns to fire lightning, although that won't fit with our character and the lightning stats would be crap. <laughs> We have a bit of a shield block that we could learn. That might be of use to us. The leap of the lions. Jump at your enemy and do 58 damage. There's a few stats here that would help us massively. So maybe we stack up some stars and learn some new abilities. But that is going to be it for this part of the Swords and Sandals playthrough. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.